So I did a bad thing. I mistook the exit we needed to be dropped off at to get back onto the trail from town. And we have to do a mile and a half road walk to get to a trailhead where we have to take a mile to get back onto the AT. And there's five of us and I feel very stupid and sad. So at the end of our hike today, we made it to Mount Cube Sugar Farm. They uh, make their maple syrup here in New Hampshire, and they also open this place up for through hikers to just actually sleep on these mattresses on the floor. So this is where we're spending the night tonight. It's a shelter, but it has like electricity and flush toilets. And a lot of cool history, like this used to be on the AT. This guy right here is one of the caretakers here. This is a picture with him with Grandma Gatewood, who through hiked uh, multiple times, three times, I believe, as a, uh, a solo through hiker, making her the first person to ever through hike three times. And her first one was like in 1955. And she was the second woman to ever through hike. Yeah, so that's like a really old picture right there. But it's a really cool place. Thanks, Mount Cube Sugar Farm. So we arrived today at the Hikers Welcome Hostel. Right before uh, Mount Musilake. Um, and this is just a great place. Like there's a ton of through hikers here. Uh, mostly northbound, just uh, pulling off to the side, having a bite to eat. And just enjoying a good uh, good time. Hi guys. So we, we chilled here for pretty much most of the day. But we're leaving out to hike about one mile uh, before we summit the mountain tomorrow uh, at Mount Musilake. But this was a great place. We love it. Good morning, folks. It is August 21st, and the first day we're entering the Whites. We're climbing up Mount Musilake, or Musilake. Musilake! Sounds cooler to say. And that's gonna be like, what is it, 3,500 feet of elevation gain? Oh, I don't know. It's a really tall mountain. 42 total. And so. And we're four miles from the summit. Yep, it's gonna take us four miles to get up there. And it's a particularly cloudy day. However, we're gonna make the best of it. And from this point forward, guys, it's gonna be the big stuff. Yeah, this is supposed to be one of the toughest climbs, and I'm thinking that's just because it's one of the first ones. I'm pretty sure they're all actually harder than this <laughs> right. one. <laughs> this is just the shock to the system yeah. to get us used to it, so let's do it! Yikes. Uh Very unfortunately, uh, we left my AT passport along with plugs and a couple extra things like uh, receipts that we were going to use to like, claim for our uh, insurance uh, for uh, Purple's rabies shots uh, back at the hostel. So after making it, you know, about a mile up the hill, I had to run back down, go grab it, and then come back up the same hill. So it kind of stinks, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do. So I have to do a little night hiking to catch up. Let's hope I don't run into anything. Yeah, if I did over, I'd actually probably get the uh, the short, the knee length one, because I like I'm always curled up, and I almost always take my legs off to the side because I get too hot. We're about uh, half a mile from the summit, and you could just see the clouds just being pushed over us. It's it's uh it's clearing up a little bit, but it's so, still kind of wet. But yeah, very very dewy and. We're in a cloud, so hopefully it'll clear up hopefully. by the time we get to the top. Oh, the sun's coming out. Yes! It's so pretty. Oh, this is going to be great. I feel empowered by the mountain right now, not overcome by it. The mist is empowering me, and I am no longer scared of the light, because this is the 
despite the fact that I can't see anything at all, any kind of view, this ridgeline walk is probably the prettiest hike I have ever been on. I just can't even imagine what the views are going to be like when we can actually see them. This could all go a whole lot simpler if we could just ride this thing down. We always hoped there'd be a water slide at the end of every mountain climb. And that's our future over there. Oh man, the Kinsman's trail is right next to the waterfall. <laughs> Describe what's going on here. Well, we're about, I would say, less than a mile into our hike today in the beautiful state of New Hampshire, and it poured all night. And there is a bridge here across this little bog, which is about, let's see, oh, it's deeper in places. Uh, oh deep. gosh, oh gosh. And um, that's mud too. See, oh, don't lose your balance. It is fully submerged, so we are getting our feet wet. That is, that is the conclusion, and it is cold and rainy today. Oh man! And we're gonna hike the next 16 miles with wet feet. <sighs> Let's get this over with. Little critters in it too. Oh, oh don't fall! It's not too bad. That looked a lot worse. Oh, that's not a rock. That is not a rock. So today is the climb up Kinsman. Today is August 22nd. Dang. And we just came across, oh man, some amazing, you know, backcountry waterfalls out here in the wilderness. But uh, we came over Mount Wolf this morning and now we're uh, about to do Kinsman Mountain, which has two peaks. Uh, apparently, very strenuous, very difficult. Um, and uh, <laughs> we're trying to tackle it within a uh, 16 mile slack pack day. So, hopefully, it won't be as uh, crazy without, you know, with, without the packs. Ah, but. Uh, it's a cold day for once in a long time, and uh, yeah, as purple keeps going, she's trying to stay warm. Uh, so we uh, are freezing out here, trying to get through our miles today. But I can't believe just how cold it is in comparison to you know just a week ago when we were burning up and sweating from all the exertion. Now we can't keep warm, and several more of these waterfalls. Oh man. So cool. More raging rivers. Oh babe, I'm filming. You got this. You got this. It ends. It just ends. You just gotta you just gotta There's a board right here. Jump for it. Jump for it. Oh gosh. Well, next. We just made it through the bog. Let's see what we got inside the shoes here. <laughs> oh, not too bad. Mine, mine dumped a lot of water out. Mine just kind of squishes right mine out. Mine was like a couple of cups of water. Yeah, this is the trail. This is what the trail looks like, folks. Ugh. Yeah. It's pretty great. It's Any comments, lovely. Sunflower? I am wet. I think I've said that like a thousand times in your vlog. <laughs> I'm just Sunflower wet. is just like Sunflower it. is wet. <laughs> Sunflower took a tumble in the mud earlier. It's All the great. way up to here. Of yeah. mud. I not really so a tumble so much as sinking into I it. I stepped and just like <gasps> fell. I just 
Ah. Never ending hole. So quicksand is a fear that we should that we should uh, have as an adult. I never thought I would. But there it is. That was definitely a fear for when I was younger. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Well, we're getting to the straight up the rock wall climbs. Purple, your turn. My turn? Yep. That? That's the trail? Yes. This oh, is the trail. Oh man. Who put the trail here? At least you got a little bit of handholds. You just did that like it was nothing. So, Kinsman Mountain, uh, both peaks were very difficult to climb up, but uh, even though we weren't able to see views from the top on our way down, we came out of the clouds to just behold this extravagant sight. These mountains are massive, and I believe somewhere over here is Franconia Notch. Uh, it might even be this mountain right here. Um, and it's just this exposed ridge line uh, that we'll be climbing in a day or two uh, that I've been waiting four years to actually uh, finally get to in person. It's been a picture on my phone for years, and so uh, I'm, I can't wait to see what it looks like in person. But uh, the trail is more difficult than anything else we've experienced on the uh, AT so far. Right now it's doing okay, <laughs> but uh, it's definitely um, so rewarding. Appalachian Trail Logic. Build a trail up the waterfall. That way you don't actually have to build the trail. Another incredible spot along the AT. This is the trail I gotta walk through. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty scary. I gotta make this leap. Well, I'm out on the road. I'm getting ready to catch a hitch. But look at the scenery. Look at the craziness of these mountains out here. Unlike anything we saw down south of here. So I'm actually, this time I'm out here hitching alone because uh, uh, Purple Mist and Sunflower and Snap, they took a, uh, uh, like an emergency route down pretty much. So I'm out here doing this my own way. So we got a chipmunk named George. Oh, there he is. He lives here at Chet's Hostel. Come on. Come on, George. Come out and eat something. No. He's like, no, escape. There he is. He's picking up the pieces. Cramming it all in his cheeks for later. So, we uh, have spent the uh, better part of uh, the last three hours climbing up. Um, I guess this is Mount Lincoln, uh, which also kind of connects to uh, Lafayette Mountain, but uh, the ridge line right in between is Franconia Ridge, uh, the one that I'm very excited to see. I believe we are going to try to find a place to stealth cowboy camp there um, in order to uh, see the amazing stars uh, and sunset, sunrise, and all that. Um, but uh, from what I understand, uh, Tonight's going to be a little less windy and very clear, so we'll be able to really enjoy all of it. Um, and uh, it'll be the first time we've been at over 5,000 feet in a while as well. Uh, so it's going to be a cold night, but it's going to be an awesome experience. Uh, I'm so excited. I'll show it to you. Uh, the trail is... Uh, 
very steep and treacherous uh, through this section, very uh, vertical. Uh, but uh, I'm getting a, a little piece of the action here. Oh man, I've never seen mountains like this before. It's unlike anything else on the trail. Oh my god. here on top of Franconia Ridge and we watch the sunset and soon we'll watch the stars come out but I'm eating my dinner which is a cold McDonald's cheeseburger <laughs> and it's super delicious <laughs> and I'm wearing all my clothes because we're up on the ridge line and it's chilly so that's what I usually use as my pillow so now I, tonight I have to use my food bag. I guess it's a little more crunchy, huh? Yeah, my food might be a little squished in the morning, but it is so beautiful up here. I just, I can't even describe it. It's probably the most beautiful place I've ever been in my life. So it's all worth it. Good morning. It's August 24th. And today we're crossing over the ridge to Uh, the wind is just very, very uh, strong on top, so it's really hard to talk into the phone. But um, this is this is the most beautiful place I've ever seen in my, my whole life. Uh, camping here was magnificent. Watching the sunset and seeing the sunrise in the morning, um, uh, and the scenery is just breathtaking. It, you know, it like made me cry just to see uh like how stunning all this was and and this this place it was important to me because um you know it it, it was as important as Katahdin is because it was just something I dreamed about for so many years so to finally make it here and see it in person um just blew my mind it was beyond my wildest dreams um and uh and this is by far my favorite place on the trail I love it. So if you remember our AWOL guide, um, this shows us the elevations of the mountains. And if you look right here, it's just like a little tiny lump and then a big one. And believe it or not, that is Franconia Ridge. So there's the little bump and the big bump. And so when you look at that in perspective with what we had to climb yesterday, about 3,000 feet of elevation just to get, and then a little more just to get to these parts. That just kind of gives you an idea of uh, the type of hiking that uh, we got to do off camera to get to the glorious stuff.
blessing is huge. I don't know if you can tell. There are people, tiny people, walking all the way up the range there. You can barely see them, but that's a massive distance. And just when you think you're at the top, you get to see a little more. And so we're now going down Mount Lincoln, continuing across Franconia Ridge to Mount Lafayette. Purple found the only warm spot. It's warming up in the sun, being rocked by the wind. it over here to the side in which we started coming over the Franconia Notch, Mount Lincoln and Lafayette. Okay, so we're making our way down Franconia Ridge now. And it was probably my favorite place in the entire world. Unbelievable. Not, not uh, just on the trail, ever. Mi miles and miles of ridgeline walking. Um, and if you're ever in exposed. New Hampshire, it's a two mile walk from the bottom to the top. Just do it, just do it. It is the best place. But another interesting place. thing about being up here is we think way over there in the distance, that really tall peak. The tallest one out there. The only one that is currently in the clouds. We're pretty sure that's Mount Washington, so. Yes, so um, we will be, we'll be reaching Mount days. Washington in, Like yeah. two, three days. Right, and uh, it's the tallest peak in all of the Northeast. Yeah. So, and I think second on the trail. Second, second tallest, tallest on, the trail. on the trail. So, we're gonna so. be up above 6,000 feet again, which is crazy, because we're not even above 6,000 feet right now. We're yeah. like in the fives or something. But can't wait. It's going to be amazing. This is amazing. My favorite place so far. Hello, Garfield. Mount Garfield. And we're going below tree line. So last night we made it to the Galehead Hut in the White Mountains, as you can see. Purple's still sleepy this morning. But how the huts work uh, here in the White Mountains is that, uh, you know, there are different guests that are already coming out to stay in the huts. So for through hikers, oftentimes you can get a work for stay in which um, you can, uh, you know, do some chores for them uh, and they'll give you some extra food that's left over and. Uh, even a place to sleep on the floor. So that's what we did last night. And we're gonna help them clean up this morning And there's hopefully a couple other places. We might be able to do that along the trail There's about uh, eight huts in total in the whites Just had uh, some soup for lunch at uh, the Zealand hut and now we are booking it because the weather tonight is supposed to get pretty bad some rain and thunderstorms we don't want to get caught in it so we are headed to Crawford Notch where we're gonna catch up with sunflower and snap we need to do almost eight miles in four hours exactly that's really pushing it which in the whites is crazy yes but they say that this is pretty much the easiest stretch of the uh, AT and the Whites. It's uh, an old road bed uh, that's not littered with all these rocks. So we should get through it pretty quick. Well, it was a, a rainy morning waking up here at Dry River Campground. We didn't quite make it uh, into Lancaster to go to the 
a hiker hostel at the Yellow Deli. Uh, very similar to the one that we went in in Vermont. Um, uh, but we decided it's a rainy day and we're about to do pretty much start the biggest climb of, uh, of the entire White Mountains. So we are hitching to get into town for a zero so day. So Purple took her biggest fall on the trail yesterday. It was really terrible. It was very terrible. She went head over heels and like I fell down, a rock fell head down an extra two feet. Um, and she landed on the side of her leg. She's got a big bruise forming. It's swollen it's up really pretty swollen. bad. And you land on your elbow too. Yeah, but luckily I surprise. didn't break it. Luckily my pot got mo most of the fall, I think. I think I might have broken my elbow otherwise. Um, but it could have been really bad. But it hurts me to put weight on my leg today and it's pretty, it's swelling up pretty good this morning, so. Yeah. Well, I watched the whole thing and it looked terrible. I freaked out, so I'm glad you're okay. Yeah, but I really want to take a rest today. And because my leg hurts. Yeah, and let's let's do my that. My body hurts.